Greetings, it's Alex with PNW Bible Journaling here on the Creative Retreat YouTube channel with the Abundantly More July Devotional. It's written by Aaron Davis and it has quite a few New Testament gospel passages for this devotion. So I decided to jump into my brand new illustrating Bible, the Gospels by Dayspring. Um, I am going to be in John chapter 1 verse 16 and as you can see this Bible is has thicker paper, um, it's brighter white paper, the font's larger, has large margins, and because it is spiral bound, it lays flat. And I decided, this in particular, because this um, devotional had Matthew and several passes, passages in John that I thought this would be the perfect Bible to use. Um, I'm landing in John 1.16, which that verse itself says, Out of his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace already given. And that's in the NIV version. You've also heard grace upon grace. That's a phrase used in some translations, and we definitely use it in our, just in our speaking language, I received grace upon grace. And so not only did I want to use that phrase, but I also wanted to tie into this idea about abundance, abundantly more and that there is abundant grace. And I knew there was something in me that probably because last time was lots of color on my entry with the stencil there you see, this time around I decided I wanted to keep my entry primarily black and white. So I'm using the stamp to stamp on, I'm just kind of like blocking out the, the size I wanted. I also, since this has, it's the title page for John, um, it, I knew my spacing was gonna be kind of different. Um, so I was sort of, laying it out ahead of time. I kept it super simple. And I think because I wanted the sentiment to be what was focused on, and I knew that black and white would let me do that. So here I just used the, um, I don't know if you wanna call it mermaid scale, fish scale, or what else it could be called, waves, um, stamp the outline. Now in this stamp set, there's a solid and an outline. If you wanted this to have color, you could stamp it first, say with blue or teal, and then follow it with this black outline. Um, you get a more three-dimensional look. You'd also have at, be a great way to add color. I knew I wanted to keep the entry black and white, um, so I just lined them up. You can see they're not perfect. They kind of overlap in some spots, but I knew I was gonna put some fish somehow on there, and I figured I'd just overlay the fish in those areas. So I stamped abundant. I wanted it to sort of creep into the text, so I did sort of stagger that in the where there was white space, and I'm gonna write abundant grace. And then I couldn't, I kind of went back and forth on did I want to say just grace upon grace or did it want it to say abundant grace upon grace. So what I ended up doing was stacking abundant grace kind of as a title through the middle of the page where it would be the most prominent and then down below in the open spaces doing upon grace. I also like the idea that the abundant grace was literally above and upon the lower grace. Play on the words, play on it visually. Um, again, the black and white just kept it super simple. You, There is a great gargoyle ink that uh, Creative Retreat sells. It's a great gray, or you can go with a darker color. And like I said, it would be awesome too with the staggered ink um, because you could do a teal or a blue or whatever you wanted um, and then layer the black outline over the top. So I grabbed two fish. At first I was thought I'm just gonna use a single color and I'll have them swimming different directions. And then I thought, nah, maybe not. In the end, I like that I went with two colors and they're swimming the opposite direction. Then I grabbed some glue dots to give them that kind of 3D effect. You could use foam squares. You could, you could use even just a looped piece of tape that would make it pop up a little off of the waves, the, the scales. Um, and I used it, I did layer them kind of right over the worst part of overlap where it wasn't, it wasn't quite lined up all the way. And then it just takes away that your eye isn't as drawn to that little kind of uh, layering that was a misstep, if you will. <laughs> um, and then I decided, to, I'm outlining the scripture. I actually blocked out John 1, 14 through 16, because it talks about the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and truth. And then out of his fullness, we have all received grace in place of grace already given. And I wanted that context, thinking about Jesus. And so for me, as the grace and as the um, word that became flesh, for me, when I keep it simple, sometimes it's easier for me to meditate on the scriptures. 
Um, sometimes if it's watercolor maybe and it takes a lot of time, but I like that I also have that effect, but I like with the simplicity of this, I was really thinking about this passage. Um, it just kept it easy. And what stood out to me were a couple of R words. Remember the grace that has been given or is available to you. Rely on the grace and receive the grace. And receive is actually in that verse 16. So I've tried some of the Illustrated Faith Highlighter Washi. The first color I picked was too corally. So then I went with a lighter pink color and then a teal color to match the two fish. And then I knew I wanted to either put a word on the tab, which you see here I toyed with, and then I thought, you know what, I'm going to use one of those R words, and I changed my mind. Um, I also imagine using, a, I tend to be drawn to these blue and teal colors more, and so then I thought, well, I should probably use, some, use up some of the pink, because there is pink on the page. And I wrote out grace, and as I laid them down and left the spacing between it, I just kind of got inspired, and I thought of those R words again, and decided I would use the teal colors to write receive grace. Um, and I did use, you'll see me refer back to the scripture passage so that I spelled it because I went from the end of the word to the beginning of the word so that my spacing was correct. And so I relied heavily on the actual printed one. Sometimes I hand write it out on a piece of paper next to me, something so I don't misspell them. <laughs> um, and so, because I'm working backwards. And then that's what really landed me on the title of this video about receive grace. Because it can be available to you. This abundant grace and grace upon grace can be there. But if you don't receive it, um, it doesn't, have the proactivity that it otherwise would in our lives. And so that idea of there being an action of me receiving it. Um, and so I journal at the bottom of my page and I wrote, Lord, may I remember and rely on your abundant grace, receiving it as the gift that it is. Um, and again, those words, remember that it's available, remember that it's there, rely on it because it is easy to step out of that grace and not rely on it and receive it, which is a choice. Um, and so I felt like God really spoke to me, even in the simplicity of this entry, and I wanted that prayer written down below. I'm underlining it here because that reminds me that it was my prayer and my words, and that concludes the entry. And I just love how it turned out. Sometimes the simple is special in its own way. And so I hope you feel inspired. I just used what was in the kit, except for the adhesive and black pen. So it's a very um, accessible entry. I hope you're inspired to dive in to think more about what it means to receive his abundant grace and to experience abundant grace upon grace. If you want to snag any of the supplies I've used, all the links will be in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you can see what the design team members are doing with the kit. Um, as we culminate this month, you'll be also seeing what we do with next month's August kit. You're not going to want to miss it. So don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. Love hearing about how this inspires you and the ways you use the kit to get creative. Happy Bible journaling! This is Alex of PNW Bible Journaling signing off of the Creative Retreat YouTube channel.